Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to start working on the P38J Lightning from Revel in 148 scale. Hey everybody, I'm Ron from Night Train Models. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want a notification when I put out a new video, click on the bell. Also, if you watch this video to the end, I'll reveal some of the other projects that we'll be working on. So with that, let's get started with our first project. This is the P38J Lightning in 148 scale from Revel. A little about this model before we open it up and take a look inside. This particular mold was a new mold in 1964. I bought this model back in 2009 and it, it stayed in the stash for, for quite a while till about three weeks ago. And then I uh, decided to open it up and start working on it. And at the time I was watching videos on YouTube with uh, World of Wayne and, and Bobby Waldron from Genesis Models and Alex McDonald from Alex Builds and so I, I put a halt on the on the starting of this model and decided to start up this YouTube channel. So here we are. Let's open up the box and uh, see what's inside. Now, like I said, I've already started this model. I haven't done much to it. Um, all I've done was paint some base color on a few parts, but uh, let's see. So here's our instructions. Got a little bit of history on the plane itself. Symbols for the instructions and then suggested colors for painting. You're not going to use all the colors um, because there's there's three different versions of this plane. There's the fighter bomber version which we're going to build. There's a pathfinder version and there is also a night bomber version. So we're going to build the fighter bomber version. So first page, build the cockpit, some interior parts on the wing, ladder, and we join the wing together, landing gear, um, the booms, there's two booms, tires. Mother, more fuselage parts. Attach the booms to the wing. Propellers. Tail section. Cockpit canopies. The gun covers. The actual gun platform. It's 450 caliber machine guns and a 20 millimeter cannon. nose cone, turbochargers, and so on. So this is the P-38 Night Lightning. This is the, the Night Bomber. That one gets painted black. Then this is the version that we're going to do, Marge, which was Richard Bong's P-38 in World War II in the South Pacific. And then there, there's, there's the P-38 Droop Snoop. Bombardier, which was a, a bomber. Now I've seen this plane in person, not the real plane. It was a, a, a plane that they bought um, and they um, restored it to uh, Richard Bong's Marge. The actual plane after Richard Bong was shipped back home was given to another pilot and it got shot down and ended up in the Pacific Ocean. So here's the decals that are they're not too terrible. Um, I thought I'd ruin this here. 
this 993 marking on the nose. And then I looked at the instructions again, and they did this on purpose to show wear. The picture of Marge actually looks really good for a decal set. And then that goes all the way here. These ones, we won't be using these. And you think this, this sticker would be the instrument panel? It's not, it's for the, it's for the radio operator in a, the other version. What I don't understand about this particular model is the cockpit doesn't have a pilot's instrument panel. I, I just don't understand that. I don't know why they would build an airplane and then say, oh, let's not put an instrument panel in. It doesn't need one. I'm not going to fix that. I, 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 I've hung on to this model for a long time. This is just a beginner's build. We're going to just build it out of the box the way it is. We'll do some you know, painting and, and detailing and, and weathering and all that stuff. So, so like I said, I've, I've, I've started, I've started this model. Here's some of the boom, the booms. I mean, I, I haven't even cleaned up the parts yet. I, I, like I said, I just painted some of the, the insides. And I've actually seen this plane in person. It's, it's up in, they have a, Richard Bong Museum, a museum up in Wisconsin, in Superior, Wisconsin. The plane's the, the main, the main attraction there. And the instructions state that these are interior green, but they're not. The, um, the landing gear bays are actually aluminum. And these, bays, these particular bays, have zero, and I mean zero, there's nothing in there. It's just flat plastic in a, in a seam, and that's it. Landing gear goes in these two pins, in these two holes. The other thing about this kit is it's not recessed. These are um, the rivet, the rivets and the, the panel lines, you know, they're all on the surface. There's, the, it's not like modern model these days where all the rivets and the panel lines are, are recessed. These are the opposite. These stick out. These parts aren't too terrible as, as far as flash or, you know, being warped or anything like that for as old of a mold as it is. And, the, and the, actually the, the detail looks pretty decent. Wing sections. This top of the wing. The other thing that this kit didn't come with, which surprises me a lot too, is that there's no decals for the fuel inlets. We'll have to figure something out for that later after we get the wings painted or get the plane painted actually. This kit's been notorious for not fitting that well together. I haven't noticed that. I mean, to me, it looks pretty decent. Um, the, the detail on the surface is, is, is still pretty crisp and sharp and you can feel it. Um, the, uh, injection pin marks don't show through on most of the parts. I'm not going to say all of them. So the detail is still pretty crisp and nice on them. And some more of the cockpit parts. 
you know, as you can tell, let's see if I can get this to focus. No. Yeah. Not a lot of detail on the on the cockpit walls. And some on this one. Not much though. And we'll try to fix some of that. We got the rear wing tail section, ladder, weights that go on the back of the wing, engine shrouds. No real, f I mean, there's a little bit of flash there. You see some flash there, right there. There's a part number right there. There's a part number. There's an injection pin mark. More injection pin marks. We'll have to fill those in and fix those. It doesn't look like they go on any... That one might. But then you got... You got this here on the wing. I don't know if you can see that or not. B-38 lighting is under license. Revel. So what to fix that? <clears throat> More cockpit. Barely any detail there. Hardly anything at all. Let's see here. So we got quite a bit of flash here on the, these go on the outside of the fuselage where the air intakes are. Quite a bit of flash on the on the pilots. I believe this one's the pilot and that one's the bombardier, but I could be wrong. They just look like mirrored images of each other. Propellers aren't too bad. Landing gear doors have a little bit of flash on them. These are for the propellers. Front landing gear here. There's a ejection, ejection pin mark there that needs to be filled in. Other propeller. Other side, landing gear doors. This is the front cowl, go over the weapons in front and the nose. Landing gear detail, this one's coming off. Here's the forward guns, the 450 calibers. Um, I think this is the radio pack. I don't remember. And then the the stick. Yeah, 
and then this is the <laughs> this is the instrument panel. It's just a a, a console that goes. This actually, if you look at reference pictures, this is actually underneath the instrument panel. Front nose where the 50 cals and the 20 millimeter cannon come out. And then these are the tires. Now when I look at the when I look at the reference photos and I, I look at the actual plane that they have in the Richard Bong Museum, these are diamond shaped, not 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 this not this shape, but Like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get overly crazy with this model. I want to build either a, um, either the Tamiya 148 P38 or the, I believe it's Trumpeter makes a 132nd model P38. So we'll, when we get to that, we'll spend a lot more time doing that one. So that's going to be our first model that we start working on, and we'll we'll, we'll start. I'll, I'll I'll post that video up real soon as we start working on that. We start working on the on the cockpit. This is a uh, part of the radome for the for the Pathfinder model. Drop tanks. Drop tanks for the P-38. Uh, let's see here. For the bomb fins. We got missiles. We're not going to use any of this stuff. This is for the radar operator for the other, the, for the Pathfinder version. Radar console. That's going to go in the uh, fuselage for the Pathfinder version. I'm not going to use that. This stuff's all going into the extras pile. A couple of bombs. I think they're 500 pound bombs. And then the nose for the other version too. The bombardier version. No guns. So all that stuff's going in extras box, the spares box. So we'll get started on that model in the next couple days and start doing some painting and get the cockpit all taken care of. So that's going to be one of our first builds. And I was going to let you in on what else we're going to work on. Uh, get some stuff here. So this is another thing we're going to work on. This is the uh, AMT Earl Thunderbird. This is a really old kit. Uh, this has been in the stash for a while. I used to be a big NASCAR fan, but um, I haven't for the last maybe 10 years. But there, there is a model my particular favorite driver that I've always wanted to build and and that's what we're going to do with this kit. We're not going to we're not going to go with this color scheme. This is Jeff Burton's Jeff Burton's. Yeah, Jeff Burton's Rebestus Thunderbird. We're going to do something different with this kit. We're going to do a different paint scheme, different driver for it. And then we have This box doesn't look in too great a shape because it came from England. But in the comments section below, take a guess on what you think this model is. You have a 33.3333333% chance of guessing right. 
we also have some other exciting things coming down the line, not just, you know, my old stash model. So if you're excited about this stuff and you and you want to and you want to watch, you know, hit that subscribe button. When you want to know when a new video comes up, click on that bell and you'll get a notification as to when I post a new video. Until then, stay safe, happy modeling, and I'll see you next time.